get started. Let's get started. Let's get, get started. Let's get, let's get started. Let's get, let's get started. All right. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play original Nintendo NES games on your Windows PC using an emulator. Now, for the controls, you can use certain uh, console controllers. You can check out my videos for that. Or you can use just a regular PC controller. Or you can get uh, an adapter, so you can use your regular NES uh, controller and just plug it directly into your computer and use it to play the game. Let's get started. Alright, first you can follow the link in the video description and download Nestopia, which it's an original Nintendo, you know, NES, Famicom emulator. She have a links for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. So for me I'm using Windows. I'll just use the binary, which is the first link. Wait five seconds. And it should start downloading. Just wait for that. And once it's finished downloading, you'll need to download some you know, NES games, or the ROM files, which you can download them from sites like CoolROM.com, or ROMHustler.net, or DopeROMs.com, or basically any other ROM site, you can just Google NES ROMs. But for me, I'll be using CoolROM.com. Now here, you can go to ROM files, and then go down to Nintendo, then search for any and as many NES ROM games as you want. You can even browse them by alphabetical order or by the top downloaded or the top rated. So it's really good. Just click on the title link to the game you wish to download. As you can see, it's Donkey Kong, the original arcade, <laughs> well, NES version. But anyway, you have the title screen and the screenshots, the menu, whatever. You can just click download now to download it. And you wait eight seconds. A little bit of trivia for you that um, the original Donkey Kong game this is actually the first where it's the game where Mario makes his first appearance even though back then he went by the name of Jumpman it's a little bit of useless trivia anyway you can click download your file to download the game exit whoops exit and go back and like I said before, you can download any other games you wish to download. Here you have Duck Hunt, the title screen, and the screenshot. Just click download now. Wait eight seconds. Something else that's kind of fascinating is how, and um, back in the 80s, they had the technology to do the whole shooting at your TV. They bring back with. Bring, kind of bring it back with the Wii in 2006, even though it's completely different technology. Um, it's still the same concept, which is fascinating. But anyway, you can click download your file, then exit, and go back, and you repeat this process and download any and as many NES ROM games as you want. So, and once you're done, you can exit and Go to your desktop or wherever you downloaded uh, Nestopia to. You can right click and extract it using WinRAR, which you can also download from the video description. Then once it's finished, you should have the Nestopia folder. You should open that and 
This should be the executable, Estopia exe or whatever. And just double click and run it. And this is your Nestopia NES Famicom emulator. You go to File and Open to select your ROM games. Or, let's see. You can also go to Machine and then Input and select how many controllers you're using or, you know, for multiplayer. Or you can also use yeah the external devices or you can change the region or you can go to net play and connect and this is for if you want to do mult on certain multiplayer games you can play online with other people using Nestopia. It's very interesting. I will not be covering that in this video of course. Actually go to view and change screen size even change screen let's see then you can go to options and change the video settings to in increase the resolution or increase you know you can change anything that you want oh. You can also go to options, then input, and kind of set up your controls for change them or whatever. And just press OK. And that's about it. You, know, you can go to paths and set up where, you, you know, if you want to have a certain folder designated to your ROM games or save data or anything else you can set that up here and you also set up some cheats and auto saver and there's a lot of extra stuff for this so let's just get it started you can go to file open or wherever your ROMs are or desktop or wherever let's try Donkey Kong Press escape and go to like change any of the settings or controls. You can go to file, open, select a different game like Duck Hunt. And here you can use the mouse to just point and click. Die, dog, die.
Double tap. Oh yeah. Triple tap. Perfect. Young, press escape, you can file, you can exit. Are you sure? Yes. And simple as that. Alright, so there you go. Enjoy your NES games on your Windows PC. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, 